Hi, my name is Newell Davis with World Composting, and here is an update on how the seeds did that I planted. I did a, a romaine lettuce and a watermelon seeds, and I did a mix of a uh, regular garden soil, coconut choir, and then our vermicompost. And I planted them all at the same time. They've been in the same container. I've had them out in the sun. And let's take a look and see how they're doing one week later. So we're gonna bring this down here. All right, and we have our potting soil, our coconut choir, and our compost. Now, believe it or not, it looks like what's do doing the best is the soil, believe it or not. This uh, organic potting soil that I bought. Let me just bring this bag out here so I can show you guys what I bought. It looked like this was supposed to be natural, which is why I bought it. This is just standard potting mix from Target. It says natural and organic. Uh, granted, I don't always believe that they are when they say that, but it says it on the container. The compost, believe it or not, did the worst. Now, I don't want to say that, hey, it just means that this is horrible at growing stuff and anything. I think that what this shows is that this kind of compacts down. Like right now, it's a little bit damp, but it's kind of crumbly. So it compacts down. Now, what's interesting, these two are our watermelon right here in the front for both of these. This one has, let's just see here, one watermelon plant, it looks like, that came in, but I'm not even sure that's watermelon. This one has one that came in. This one, both of them came in, though. So the watermelon seeds seem to do much better in this one than they did in these other mixtures. Uh, the romaine lettuce, though, on the other hand, did not do well. So this one only had two come up. This one had a few. Um, they don't look nearly as tall as these do. I mean, look how tall these are. Uh, look how many came in here and how tall they are. But these all look kind of sickly and, and small. And I think that's because of the fact that this soil is too hard for them. This is a nice soft soil. It's very easy to dig through. This, sort of the same thing, very easy to dig through. I mean, it just comes flakes right off. This is a little bit tougher, especially once it gets wet. It seemed to compress down right away. In fact, uh, this water in here is, uh, you know, extra water that ran through them because I, you know, I had them in here and I would water them. This seems to hold moisture very well. This didn't quite hold it as well, I feel, the compost. Uh, and it seemed to run out a little bit more quickly. So what I need to do now though is I need to pick out what I think are the weakest ones here and keep only the strong ones is my understanding. So we're going to kind of break some of these off here. We're going to keep I think these this one right here I think is the one we're going to keep. Um, well maybe not. <laughs> so we'll keep a uh, we're going to try to keep one of these here Unfortunately, this is really weakening it here. I really should have tried to put in only one seed at a time, but it's really hard to do that. Um, let's try to do this here on this one, too. So, we're just trying to keep this what we think is the strongest out of all of these. That one probably was the strongest, but that's okay. So, we're going to keep, I think, uh, one of these over here. Some of these actually are using the other ones as like stilts to hold themselves up. So we're going to keep this one right here. This one is very easy. We only have two here. I think the other one's a little bigger. This one right here, I think, is the... Oh, that one's bigger. I think was the biggest one that we had in there. So these two obviously we're keeping. All right, this one still has three in it, so let's grab that one out and this one out maybe. Oh, yeah, I guess we're gonna have to take that one now. So I'm gonna try to put that one up there. Now, these came in really well. I was really surprised at how well these came in. Uh, I did not expect the soil to do the best in this at all. I expected it to. Um, I expected the coconut choir actually to do the best, because um, I thought that the uh, this would be a little hard, which it is. So as you can see here, there's one right there. This one's really hard to figure out which one's the best here when. Uh, all of them seem to have grown right next to each other. I really should have spread these seeds out a little bit more or made sure I didn't put in so many. 
So I'm just pulling a few of them out here. All right, so now, we, now we're down to just a few seeds here for each of them, you know, or one in each compartment here. So we're gonna continue this experiment and see how it does, and I think eventually what will have to happen is they will need to be replanted into larger pots once they grow a real root system. Um, this seed never came up, and really, I don't know if this one is a, a seed that just kind of fell to the side or not. This does not look like this, I don't know. We're we'll about to see. So these are supposed to be watermelon in the front, and these are the, remain in the back here and it looks like only one of the seeds came up here and one of them came up here but both of these did come up so we're out to see and kind of keep an eye on I'll have another update coming up but so far if you're starting seeds it looks like one of the best things to use is the coconut choir and possibly I've heard a lot of people mix actually the coconut choir and the compost or the castings together to make a kind of a fertilizer now I have not fertilized these at all I've only added water for the last week and I probably will need to start fertilizing. It looks like there's still two in here, actually. Right, we'll pull this one out. So I will need to start probably fertilizing these. I will probably use actually cast water from the castings that I have, and I will use that to fertilize them. Uh, I might also build up a little bit of water in here so there's just constant moisture in the bottom. So that way they have the roots that they can kind of uh, constantly be getting moisture. Because it looks like, I mean, like this is still damp. Uh, this is still damp, actually. This is actually pretty dry. It's kind of muddy a little bit, but it's it's drier, I feel, than the others are. Um, obviously, when the cat, the this is what it looks like when it's dry, the, the peat here, or the, uh, not the peat, the coconut choir. So it looks very flaky like that when it's dry. So that's my update for this. Uh, it is working. Uh, I, the staying in the light, by the way, the same thing. I kind of have it tilted at an angle like this by the window, so that way they get light very consistently. And I've also been rotating them, as you could tell, because I think when I started, I think the uh, castings were on this side. But uh, I've been rotating them around as well, so that way it's not like, well, this side might get more light than this one or something like that. So every day I rotate them, and every day I've been watering. So we'll continue this, and we'll check back in another week and see how these are doing, okay? So there's four growing in here, three in here, and three in here, and we'll see if that continues. Thank you.